Well, hello everybody. How are we doing today? Jeff here, and we are going to sit down and do another drawing video. I've been meaning to do a drawing video, but my problem's always been motivation. It's always a difference between want and doing. And so the only way that I can make myself do these drawing videos is to just sit down and do it. So if you've never seen one of my drawing videos before, this is gonna be complete with commentary. We're sitting down from scratch, blank piece of paper, and we're gonna to draw together. <clears throat> and um, I don't do any tracing, I don't have any graphs. I am not a trained artist, I've never been to art school. So if I can do this, you can do this. So this is just gonna be me sitting down, hanging out with you guys, chatting, telling stories, trying to figure out uh, how to draw this picture together. So with that being said, this is what I'm going to draw. And uh, let's see what, 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 what we can do. What we can do. Let's see what we can do. So initially what I want to do is I, I figure out how big I want it to be. And I kind of figured based on some of my other pictures, this length of my fingers is probably about the size of the face that I like. So I'm just gonna kind of keep that in mind. And uh, I'll just say like this is gonna be the hairline up here. And if that's the hairline, then the chin will probably be somewhere down in here. Just guessing, these can all change, of course. I got kind of a crappy camera, so you'll see me keep looking back. I just want to make sure that my uh, pencil marks turn up on the on the camera. Um, so if that's my height, then I'm going to try and determine the width of the face. So I'm just taking a little comparative measurement of just a rough estimate, maybe how wide her face is. So, I don't know, I'm gonna say, I don't know, you know what, let's not worry about how wide her face is right now. So, let's see here. I'm just gonna guess how wide her face is. Hold on. One second. That's the problem is uh, I'm actually drawing this video during a uh, work day. So I'm technically kind of taking a break right now from work. So if my phone goes off, that is what is happening. It means I am in demand and people are trying to get a hold of me and I'm saying, stop it. Leave me alone for a little bit. Can't you see? I'm trying to draw something and it's been forever. So I'm just just guessing at this point. Sometimes uh, when it comes to drawing, you're uh, especially in the early stages, you're just relying on your eyes right now. So for people that say, well, I don't know how to draw. I can't draw. Um, you're going to see in my process, it kind of starts out like this. There's a lot of uncertainty. It's a lot of guessing, you know, we usually right, right here. I try and like, okay, well, if I've kind of established the head, um, where's the eyebrows going to be? Well, when you look at the picture, the eyebrows are not in the center of the top and the bottom. The eyebrows are not in the center. You figure the eyebrows are up a little bit. So you're, I'm just going to guess, I'm just going to guess the eyebrows are you know, based on what I'm seeing in the picture, I don't know. What do you guys think? Probably about in here somewhere. Again, it's just a guess. You know. And then usually there's the rule of the thirds of the face. So she's looking pretty straightforward. So when you're looking straight forward, most people, there's it's the rule of thirds. So the hairline 
to the eyebrow is the same distance as the eyebrow to the nose, and then the nose is usually the same distance to the chin. So I'm a little bit off, but this is all going to be corrected. We're just doing our best guesses at this point, just to get something laid, laid down on the paper. So we'll just see what happens with that. So how are you guys all doing? I appreciate everybody that watched my last drawing video with commentary and um, who stuck with it. The thing was three hours long. I'm not sure how long this will be. Um, some of my past drawing videos have, haven't been um, quite that long, but to be fair, I think when I do commentary, the video is going to be a little bit longer because I sometimes I try and explain things and when I don't have to talk, I just sit there and hunker down on my videos and and uh, I draw faster. But when I have to talk and I feel like I have to explain things, um, sometimes that is a little bit different. So let's see here. So if I'm establishing the height, let me just now compare the height from the chin to the top of the hair. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me do the, the side again. At the eyebrows, at my eyebrow line, the width, uh, taking a width measurement by holding up my pencil to the picture, and then I'm comparing that to the chin. So it looks like this width here is about the same as the chin to the eyebrows. So chin to the eyebrows, let me drop this down just a smidge, just a smidge. My daughter uh, goes to gymnastics and one of the girls that she, uh, one of her friends at the gym, her nickname is Smidge. <laughs> that is pretty funny. What's up, Smidge? Okay, so now that I dropped the eyebrows, now my little, my thirds are off a little bit. So... Again, just kind of trying to do a little measuring here. So if we know that the width of the eyebrows is the same as the chin to the eyebrows, and we know the rules of the third of the nose to the eyebrows is a third and a third. So that's a third. That's a third. Huh? Why did I erase that? One, two, three. This is this this part of the drawing is always pretty uh it's important because you want to get it down, like you want to get your proportions down before you start really um, getting involved. But uh you also can't like put too much into it. As you can see, I'm just lightly sketching. And um, I'll zoom up the camera in just a little bit. So if you're watching going, I can't see anything, uh, don't worry. I just want to like get the basics down. And then when I start laying down more details, we'll, uh, we'll zoom in. So now I'm thinking... Since this I know is the bottom of the nose, and this is the eyebrows, um, I want to kind of establish maybe the width of the nose. So there's this, you'll see this like keystone shape here, this, I think it's called the glabula. Is that right? All my anatomy uh, subscribers, the glabula. It's called the keystone shape because it forms a sort of like upside down pyramid, which you could see looking at the picture. And I'm just kind of just going to gauge, you know, it looks like her nose is a little wide. I don't want to make it too wide, but um, I'm just going to kind of block 
block this in just to just to get a proportion down. And the, the fun part or the challenging part or both is going to try and make this shape start to turn into a three dimensional shape. And that's always, like I said, it's a challenge, but it's fun. It's fun to see something take shape, start to uh, form. So usually my little rule of thumb in most instances is when this shape comes down here, the eyes, the eye line is right where it meets. So kind of right in here. It would help if I knew how to draw a straight line. So right there is sort of like the eye line. Oops, dummy. All right, so this is where I usually try and establish the eyes and the nose. That's this little triangle area. So now I have to figure out where the eye starts, the, the eyeballs. And usually the eyeballs start usually on the outside corner of the nose. So you know, if this is where the, the nose is, kind of this block in there, usually the, the eyes start somewhere Somewhere around here, like that would be the, the inner, inner corner. This, I'm gonna go a little bit on the inside. Just a little on the inside. So I'll say that's where the eye starts. And to determine where the outline or the outside eye starts, I wanna try and take a diagonal measurement of from the mouth up through the side of the nose to the outside corner of the eye. Just take that angle. And I don't know, I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing right now. It's always kind of hard to... I mean, that might be close enough for now. And... Um, lock it in. This is always a little fun because I kind of make the just laying down the structure of the face. It's always uh, like I said, it's challenging, but fun at the same time. Now I'm going to kind of see how how did I do on the eyes? Are they about the same width? Yep, I'm going to say about the same width. Now, usually there's a width, an eye width in between an eye, but it doesn't look like I nailed that. So let me check hers. And her eyes are not an eye width apart. They're a little closer together. So it looks like I'm kind of accurate there. In other words, this distance is longer than the distance between the eyes. So I'm going to say that's pretty good right now. So now I know where the eyes are going to sit, where the eyes start. And her eyes, they're very round. So I'm kind of just looking at the, the shape, the overall shape, and I'm going to, sometimes this helps me. I'm not sure if it's going to help me this time, but I try and like just start with the outside of the eyes. So you see I'm starting on the outside, and then I'm going to try and just slightly connect them. Just lightly connect them with this 
sort of rhythm line. And then that kind of makes it a little bit easier for me to then do the bottom part of the eye. So thinking something like this. For the top part of the eye, and then of course you, I'm gonna have to draw the eyelid, and then I'm gonna have to compare the eyelid to the eyebrows. But let's just kind of go with this. We'll go with this and see uh, see what's doing. Right, how are we doing there? Okay, so I don't like to put in too much detail right in the the early goings here, but sometimes I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going with it, and so I'm looking at the shape of the eye. You know, sometimes it helps if I like put in like a circle of where the eye is, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Oh, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. You'll notice when I do my drawings here that uh, I don't always have an idea of what I'm doing. So, oh, I'm just my coffee over. I don't always know what I'm doing. I used to think, or I still do think, when I see when I see a really good people drawing, like man, I wish I could draw like that. Those guys, they know what they're doing. But I've made some pretty good drawings that I've liked, that I have found uh, pleasing to me, and I didn't know at the time I was drawing them that I would like it. It just Turns out, it just all seems to work in the end. You know, you just got to go with it. You just got to be like, am I, am I too dark? Oh, I guess I can't adjust it. Um, you know, I guess what I'm trying to say is some of my best drawings that I've done, and by best, I don't mean like everyone thinks they're the best. I mean the ones that I personally like. Uh, some of those are the ones that I, I was positive that it was, they weren't going to turn out very good. And had I just, and, you know, had I listened to that, that self doubt in my mind, if I had listened to that and stopped, I would have never finished the drawing. So, you know, even right, even right now, there's, there's a lot of self-doubt going on in my mind. Oh, did I mess this up? Is this, is this correct? So a lot, of, a lot of my drawing and possibly yours, if you're into drawing, is going to be that. You know? Or a lot of people that think, oh, I can't draw. I've never gone to, I've never gone to art school. You know what? Neither have I. So if I can do this, you can do this. And I should also mention that... I've never, uh, I think someone might have asked me in one of my comments before, like, uh, well, yeah, if you've, you know, you've never gone to art school, you know, but you've probably been drawing your whole life. No, I haven't. I'm not one of those people that have just like, oh, yeah, I've never gone to art school, but yeah, I've been drawing my whole life. I mean, I've drawn things before, but I've never, like, uh, it's not like I've been, you know, like just drawing all the time. I mean, so just takes it just takes practice and determination, and you know, I already, I already feel like the eyes are a little off, but you know, I'm just, I'm just kind of trying not to think too much yet. Let me just, let me just.
put some more stuff down. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Sometimes I try to not think a whole lot when it comes to drawing just just don't think too much so oh boy so if you guys have uh, questions you know while I'm sitting here drawing this you're sitting here watching um, feel free to just kind of ask away post a comment I do read every single comment so this is a This is a little tough one for me. When I when I went into this picture, I thought, oh, this is going to be not too bad. She's not really at an extreme angle or anything, but no picture for me is, no two pictures are the same. So, you know, I like this. I, I, I like this because of her, her eyes. Um, and sort of the expression she's making the little smirk so if i can capture if i can capture the expression and the eyes you know i like i kind of like or i'm kind of attracted to drawing um things that have expression because that way if I don't you know even if I don't get it right like if I don't really get it right on I still feel like it's you know if I can capture an expression then that's that's pretty cool so let's see here now I'm kind of like trying to gauge like where does the eyebrow start in relation to the eyelids and at this point I'm trying not to like lay down any um like hard lines everything I do I want it to be easily easily erased because this is just sort of me blocking in things so usually the, this side of the face over here this is the side side plane of the face same with over here like this is going to be like the side plane remember your face is broken into fronts sides so I'm just trying to determine where the side is and go from there So this is kind of like the tip of her nose. Maybe I'll zoom up a little bit here for you. There we go. So I'm just kind of like trying, now I'm trying to like see the shapes, you know, try and create some form. So I'm guessing like, well, that's sort of like the ball of her nose. You know, and from the ball kind of comes up the nostril area. And then the outer nostril kind of goes here where we determine the side is the side of the nose is is going to be somewhere around here. 
So this is kind of where I'm starting to lay on more, you know, it's like building a house, you know, you first, you, you lay the foundation and then you start adding on to it and starting to see more details and things like that. So, yeah, okay. So let me, let me just keep kind of going with it. My brain, you know, my brain always tells me like, do one thing and then, then my hand ends up doing something else and then my head tells me one thing and my heart tells me something different. Who do you listen to? The heart or the brain? That's kind of the neat thing about drawing though is you do get into a um, almost like a trance state. Um, and the perfect example of that is when I start being really quiet, I almost forget like I'm filming. It actually takes me effort to talk while I'm doing this because my natural instinct is to not be speaking right now. My natural instinct is just focus on the drawing Forget the fact that you could have thousands of people watching you, commenting on you, judging you, <laughs> you know, that really doesn't bother me um, as far as like the judging part, because um, I, I kind of mentioned it in my last video, but I've been online long enough and been on this earth long enough to not take anything to heart. So, in fact, I had a sort of a funny story, but my last picture that I did, um, sometimes I just, for lack of a better, like, for lack of a better word, um, to label my pictures, I'll just give like generic labels. So, I, you know, my last one was called Pretty Girl, number 18. Because it was, you know, I, I sometimes I try and break down my drawings. Are they a woman, like an older woman, or are they uh, a younger younger girl? You know, girl doesn't have to be like child. Um, and if they're, you know, if they're an older woman, then I I'll usually uh, put them in the woman category. And if they're just, you know, like I would say this is a girl. So this would probably be Pretty Girl uh, 19. So my last one was Pretty Girl 18. And I went ahead and published it on a couple uh, forums. Uh, uh, DeviantArt, I post on DeviantArt as Jeff Mash. And somebody, <laughs> somebody wrote a comment like, basically saying like, well, if, if that's, if that's what you call pretty, then my definition of pretty is like completely off from what your definition is. In other words, he was he was trolling. He was obviously trolling. This this dude was trolling. Um, I looked at his profile, and all he does is go around and bash everybody's uh, artwork. But uh, I just laughed. You know, when I see people like that, I just laugh. Really, you got nothing better to do with your time. <laughs> You got nothing better to do but to try and uh, insult people. I'm just kind of guessing where the corner of the mouth is going to be. So I'm, I don't. We'll, we'll say it's about that. A lot of a lot of my stuff is guesswork. Again, um, some people, and I'm not saying this is wrong. I'm not saying 
not um, knocking anybody for do for for their for drawing styles. I mean, for me, artwork is artwork. You know, you could draw a stick figure, and if you really uh, if it really brought you happiness, I'm cool with that. But some people, when they draw, they'll trace. They'll trace first. So they get the proportions right, and then they do all their shading, and it comes out really, really good. But that's just not my, that's not my style. I am fascinated with improving my ability to try and get a picture of somebody um, without without um, tracing, without tools without any sort of measuring device you know like i to me the challenge for me is being able to um draw freehand you know it's like uh scuba diving versus uh free diving you know like I'm not saying it's better. I'm not saying, you know, I, I, I could probably do a lot. My, my drawings would probably be a lot better um, if I did trace, you know, if I did use a graph and measurements and, and, and uh, rulers and stuff like that. But this is more challenging um, for me. I like the challenge of you know like if i can draw a picture and it and it looks like somebody first it has to look human if i can draw a picture and it looks human number one but then it looks like the person um and i know i did that just by visual observation then that is where my satisfaction comes in i'm more satisfied if i can draw something that looks good freehand versus something that looks perfect that I traced. Does that make sense? So, uh, excuse me. I, um, I would rather do that. So, now I'm going to try and guess where her top lip starts. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. So I'm just looking up at the picture, looking at the distance of the top of the nose to maybe where the lip starts. You know, I figure maybe it's about like that. And it looks, I don't know, what do you guys think? It looks like her lip is maybe slightly off center I don't know maybe somewhere in there we'll see it looks like it's a little uh, it looks like it's about right there and again like a lot of drawing for me at least it's all about educated guessing laying down lines laying down points connecting those lines and points with your best guess your best measurements that you can make and then tweaking it slowly adjusting it um now i'm gonna i gotta figure out where the corner of the mouth is and it's a little bit different because her eyes, normally it's in the middle of your eyes, but since her eyes are adjusted, I'm going to say her corner of the mouth is probably on this line. If I were to draw a line straight down from about here, which if her eyes were looking straight, that's probably just about right. Now her other corner of her mouth is about where this 
irises. So, I didn't really draw that straight, did I? So, again, that's my best guess. Um, so just going forward um, with what, what I'm doing, how do you guys like this format? Do you guys like it? Do you like uh, this camera angle? Do you like how I'm zoomed in on the picture right now? Um, do you like how I am trying to explain what I'm doing? Should I be telling more stories? You know, it's it's always a little hard for me to talk and do this at the same time, but I'm here, I'm a man of the people. So I want to do what uh, you guys want me to do. So... I'm just trying to do the mouth at this point. Before I do, I'm just going to draw a few reference lines here to help me out. What I'm drawing here is not necessarily what I anything I see on the picture. I'm just trying to draw this muzzle line, which is supposed to indicate a sort of a circle of where the mouth is, where it's going to be in relation to the face. And I'm doing it real light. You know, this is stuff that'll be erased. But it's just going to help me out. Um, and it's all sort of part of like the Riley abstraction. Um, you should Google Riley abstraction if you're into drawing and it, it really helps. It helps lay down like the uh, facial structure and where things go, at least it does for me. Um, But you'll see how it all kind of ties together, hopefully. Real artists that probably went to school and <laughs> uh, have been drawing for a while, they probably don't need to do that sort of muzzle line. Um, but I do like to try and draw these reference lines. Hold on one sec. Hey, babe, I'm filming a video. Yeah. Uh, no, that's it. All right, love you. Bye. Well, that was a quick phone call. Okay. There's another line that comes up this way. Across the nose into the mouth. Again, I'm not even really looking up at the picture for this stuff. This is just the Riley abstraction, the reference lines that are on that I draw on the face very lightly, but they kind of indicate to me. The facial structure. So now the mouth is starting to come together as far as like where I can visualize um, the shape.
you know, if I visualize uh, how, how the mouth is, the shape of the mouth, you know, and a lot of it, is, it's just looking, a lot of drawing is looking at things and drawing constant references. So if you look at her lip right here, I'm looking at her lip on the picture. And I know it's different for you guys because um, the camera's sort of at a slightly different angle than what the picture is. But in the picture, her lip goes down, right? And then it goes to the edge of the mouth. But where does that turning point start? So I just try and look and go, okay, well here, where in relation to the nose does this stop? And it looks like, you know, it kind of goes maybe about to the outside of the nose. And then it, that's when it decides to tick, tick to the side, to the, where the side of the mouth is. So that's kind of what I'm going with right now. You know, now I'm trying to like maybe get the mouth part correct in here. She's got a little curvature to the, her lip. Might be a little exaggerated right now, but that'll all be hopefully fixed. All right, so we'll end up fixing this. I know it looks a little, a little goofy right now, but we'll fix it. And then her bottom lip. So, so I'm, I'm trying to everything I do. I'm trying to compare to something else. So like her bottom lip looks slightly bigger than her top lip. So if her top lip's that, her bottom lip make it a little bit bigger, maybe down to here or something. See, a lot of it is just guesswork. I'm just, I'm just guessing, throwing it out there, knowing I can change it. So we'll, we'll leave it like this for now. To me, it looks a little wonky, but um, that's fine for now. And then the, the chin, so, hmm. I don't know if this 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 part looks a little too big to me, but she's got a shadow underneath her lips. So first off, let's see. She's got a mark here. A little smile mark. And then it kind of Kind of meets the lip comes up here i'm just kind of maybe trying to block in the light shadow that's going to be here because she's got a shadow underneath her lip and then when the, and then below that is the chin but the chin looks little too low to me so this is where adjusting is going to start this is where i'm going to start being uh using the eraser and um you know because her chin looks like it's not as big as i had it So, all right, all right, all right, all right, everybody. All right, let's just, 
let's just pretend that that's going to be okay. We'll do a little make-believe, a little make-believe session going on here. So, yeah. <laughs> so, this is... This is another uh, rhythm line that's not part of the picture. It's just part of me visualizing the facial structure. You know, so I see I'm starting to see different planes, you know, like different shapes that will help me when it comes to the shading, when we start shading. Um, I need to start um, narrowing down here the face, I think, so I can determine like her cheekbones. Looks like her cheekbones are up in here somewhere. And then it kind of, they kind of protrude a little bit and come down to the chin or the jaw. So I determined this was the side of the face, right? So if that's the side here, and I'm sticking with it, again, that's kind of, that's kind of the side like that. All right, see, we're kind of locking it in. Kind of locking in the face a little bit. It'll really start to, uh, it'll really start to jump out at us when we, you know, block in the hair. Um, and stuff like that. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not so sure about the eyes at this point. Um. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with the eyes. Um, I tend to make the eyes, I mentioned it before, but I tend to make the eyes accidentally bigger than they need to be. So hopefully on, um, you know, on videos like this, when I'm kind of quiet, <laughs> uh, if you're actually sticking with it and watching it, hopefully you find it relaxing. Um, when I watch drawing videos like this, and I do, I'll sit there and I'll watch hour long videos of people drawing. Um, I'll usually do it in segments. So, you know, when I'm taking breaks, I'll watch it. Um, I'll watch it when I'm laying down sometimes, sometimes I'll watch it in my free time when I'm on the couch in between commercials or something. So I understand a video like this, <clears throat> you're probably not going to sit with it all the way through. If you do, whew, man, hats off to you. Um, but if you, you know. If you don't, then, you know, just use a video like this to watch it in bits and pieces. It's a good thing about YouTube is it'll remember your progress where you were at. So I'm trying to lock it in. Let me zoom out a little bit. All right. I think in a... In a, in a wee bit, I'm going to uh, I'm going to start maybe blocking in the hair, you know, get 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 the overall feel. 
of the shape. Now, <clears throat> and I'm going to have to take a break because I just do. <laughs> um, I'm starting to second guess a few things. So I'm looking at like this, this edge of the mouth. And this looks a little, to me, this is a little bit bigger than, than, than it should be. So let me just compare a few things, a few measurements. I guess that's about right. See, my brain's telling me this is way too big. This part here is way too big. But maybe once I get the shading down and it starts adding some more um, texture and stuff and some, some reference points, then it won't look so different for my brain. So I'm going to say her ears are probably somewhere in this area. Maybe somewhere in there. Throw some ears. Not, uh, not super sold on the nose at this point, but we'll refine that, I guess, in a little bit. So the ears kind of go to, uh, they're not quite the top of the eyes, so. Maybe somewhere in here. Would be the ears. Again, I'm 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 kind of just using rough lines um, this ear kind of gets blocked with some of the hair so I'm kind of blocking in the shape the shape of the hair that's kind of what's neat about drawing for me is like it, it's all um, different lines you know like this line i'm drawing right here if you just look at that line like as an island onto itself you wouldn't go oh that's an ear but when you look at it in relation to other lines you start seeing like oh okay i see that's an ear <laughs> you know like everything is everything's got its place in relation to something else And it starts to take a form. So I don't know how to draw an ear. I don't know how to draw an eye. I don't know how to draw a mouth. I, but if you start drawing a line going this direction and then a line going that direction, all you're drawing is lines. But then the lines start making something. And to me, that's what's neat, you know. I'm not trying to draw an ear. I'm trying to draw lines that I see you know, shadows that I see. And if you draw what you see, then that's usually pretty accurate. If you just draw what you see. So I'm just trying to draw shapes 
And that's a constant battle for me. It might be for you to just remind yourself every almost, almost, almost as you're doing it, constantly remind yourself that you're drawing what you see. Are you seeing this? What are you seeing? You know, just draw, draw what you see. So I'm not trying to do any shading at this point. I'm just trying to draw what I see. And I'm not adding um, a lot of values or anything at this point. I'm just, I'm basically laying down lines so that I can come back to it and go, okay, now this is where I need to refine it. Oh boy, okay. So for, this is gonna be like the center of her forehead. Again, this isn't something I'm seeing. Here I am, like, contradicting what I just said. I'm drawing something I'm not seeing. <laughs> this is the uh, part of that Riley rhythm. But see, by drawing that, now my brain sees this is the front plane. This is a side plane. This is a further side plane. So you could start to see a form take shape, right? Or you can apply different shading. It's going to help me when it comes to the shading process. So, not sure I'm sold on exactly everything here as far as like placement and that, but I guess at this moment, this magic moment. <laughs> this magic moment. Um, I think I'm okay with where we're at. So what are we at here? 58 minutes or so. Let me zoom out. and maybe work a little bit on the outside shape of her hair so it looks like if you were to draw a line straight up from the middle of her nose it's almost about where her hair kind of starts parting maybe are we in agreement <laughs> So this is this is just a rough thing. Now she's she's got sunglasses on. I just noticed that. I don't know if I necessarily want to draw the sunglasses. Let me think about that one. Let me think about that one, people, because one hand part of me goes, "Yes, do it. It's a challenge." You coward, don't be scared of a challenge. And then the other part of me is going, who you calling a coward, punk? No, the other part of me is uh, just saying it's not really necessary. I mean, what's the point of drawing sunglasses on top of the head? All right, so I'm just trying to get the overall shape. And I'm just looking at the picture, looking at my drawing. The drawing kind of ends, it, it literally ends like right at the ear. You know, like right in here, it kind of stops. And I've always had a little problems with that because uh, I don't like to leave a drawing incomplete, but I don't know what to do over on this side. So right now I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna draw what I see. And 
and uh, we'll just kind of figure it out. I mean, if I have to, I'll leave a line there and we'll just make it like, either we'll fade it out or we'll uh, make it look like a picture frame kind of thing, picture frame effect. But her hair, let's see. Because this will help me kind of like get an idea of how did the face turn out? So you can kind of follow along with where I'm at on the picture. Her hair kind of cuts in a little bit. It looks like her chin. Let's let's find out where that her chin kind of starts. So I'm going from the corner of the eye bringing it in, I don't know, maybe right in here, straight down somewhere. I'm going to say maybe her chin's like right in there. And where is it on the other side? I don't know. Just guessing. She's got a real skinny neck. So, but I'm going to use that as my base for the hair. So the hair kind of comes in, feathers out along and over the neck. So while this comes down, uh, excuse me, it also looks like it goes straight down. So you have some hair that comes straight down. And then the hair also kind of goes out over here. And then she's got like her shoulder over somewhere. She's got a shoulder over here, maybe. Somewhere. Again, it kind of cuts off, so I don't know how much I'm going to put on there. This side's up higher. So this kind of goes off at an angle. She's got her hair that is tucked behind her head. So, what are we, what are we thinking here? I'm going to have to start working on the nose, I think. Um, yeah, I probably got to start working on the nose shape. Um, determine if the the mouth is exactly the way we want it. I don't think this is turned up enough. She's got like the smirk, so it's almost like a smile. So it's almost like it has to come up. All right, so that's kind of smirky. All right. 
So maybe we'll take a break right here. I got to do some stuff that will give me time to <clears throat> rest my brain. And uh, then we'll come back. We'll look at what we got so far. And if we like it, we'll start laying down some shading. We'll start pushing this, pushing this a little bit as far as the uh, the form and the yeah the form and the shading and uh, that's going to be my favorite part but I don't want to start doing that until I feel good with the proportions so oh and then we'll finish up down here we'll kind of draw her little uh, strap her little spaghetti strap Just need to stop or I'll keep going. All right. So let's stop and uh, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Took about 30 minutes off, um, downloaded my footage. Noticed a couple things that I need to keep in mind. First is um, I notice sometimes I lean over and my shoulder blocks the uh, picture. So I'll try and keep that in mind, be mindful of that. And then I also had uh, automatic focus set on. So when I did that, it would focus on my shoulder and not on the picture. So I just turned off automatic focus. So hopefully it stays focused on the picture itself. So that being said, um, I'm kind of I'm kind of, at least this this initial rough layout to me looks pretty good. I think it looks uh, it looks like the person. I mean that remains to be seen what happens, of course, after we start laying in more details. But um, that's okay because every drawing we do, we are learning, right? So since we're learning, we can't really be upset if we give it our best shot. Sort of like what I tell my kids when they do something. If you give it your best shot, then it doesn't matter what happens because you did your best. So sometimes we have to take our own advice whenever, uh, whenever we're faced with life's challenges. <laughs> so uh, before I really start laying in the shading, I'm just kind of blocking in a few more shadow things down here. And these are just things to give me an indication of maybe what I'm going to highlight or focus on more when it comes to the shading. I'm just kind of noticing uh, shadow patterns in her clavicle area. <laughs> so, uh, I'm very, very lightly marking things down that I'm seeing. I'm not even sure if my little light sketches are, yeah, I guess it's showing up, showing up a little bit. So I wonder, I know I mentioned it before, but if anybody has, you know, questions or things they they want me to address in uh, next future videos let me know um, I try and keep this all in mind while I'm doing this stuff but I admit I can get a little uh, carried away because I don't think and I don't think too much while I'm doing this so like I said you kind of get in this trance and so my little 
trance state gets me super sort of hyper focused on the drawing and then I forget that I have this audience of people watching me. So um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jeff. Last name is Mash, like the TV show. And if you're younger than 20 years old, you probably have no idea what the Mash TV show is. <laughs> but um, I go by Stogie Farts for those that don't normally watch my channel. That's just a name, a funny name I picked when I created the YouTube channel. I wanted a name that was funny that people would remember. So uh, it's hard to forget Stogie Farts. I dare you to try it. Um, born and raised in California. Just turned 42 years old. So, uh, so I got most of my life still ahead of me. <laughs> so let me, let me, uh, I'm kind of jumping all over right now here. Just so I can get an idea of what, what I'm going to do with this picture. Um, I'm not sure if I, if the, again, if the eyes are too big or not, but. Um, and I mentioned it in my last drawing, but like the more you do, the uh, the more you see. So like the the when I start laying down some of the values and stuff here, um, I'll start seeing more stuff to change stuff that needs to be uh, added and taken away. So I'm right now I'm just kind of blocking in the hair again. Um, so I, so my brain gets a better idea of what I'm going to be doing, the direction of the flow of the hair. And uh yeah, I think we're just about, I'm just about ready to start really trying to narrow it down. We're approaching the end game of this picture. <laughs> the end game is upon us. So I'm making little, just little marks here and there, um, trying to make sure that I see everything the way that I want to see it. And uh, this is going to be the fun part, because when you're happy with how it looks, you know, you're happy with this sort of coloring book picture. Then you really, that's when you start laying down the shading, making the picture come to life. And this is the best part when it comes to um, um, the speed drawing videos that I do. When you, when you watch this in uh, fast motion, this is the part of the drawing where it really starts taking on a life of its own. So, I'm going to uh, I think I was just going to start moving forward. moving forward with it. 
What do you guys think? One of these days, maybe I'll do a, a live um, drawing session. So uh, the only problem with that is uh, the live is great because then you could see me in real time and interact, but I can't just keep looking up and reading comments and answering questions or else uh, I would never get things done. So this whole picture that you see right here has all been done with one pencil. Uh, my trusty General's HB pencil. And uh, I don't know if I can pick it up. But now I think I'm going to move on since we're going to do shading. I'm going to do a softer pencil, a 2B, General's 2B, or not 2B. No, it is a 2B. And uh, now I'm just going to start laying in some of the values. So, uh, wish me luck because this is the part that this is the part that uh, is challenging and can scare the crap out of me. But hopefully when uh, all is said and done, it's going to look okay. <laughs> so I'm going to lightly start adding some value. Let's see if we can put some life into this picture. This is the fun part again, because for me, the, well, for me, the hard part's done. The hard part is laying down the picture, laying down the lines. And then uh, when you get to this stage, you're, you're pretty much, this stage pretty much is you saying, okay, I'm happy with what I laid down and let's, let's start uh, laying on top of that. So, again, this could be challenging. It could also be fun. So, I'm going to keep looking up at the picture. I'm going to start adding some shading. Nothing too deep, too dark. That will come later but i need to at least put some value down so this is all just going to be me shading and i mentioned it again but if you guys have questions whether it be uh about drawing or about me personally or anything like that, feel free to post a comment, let me know. And I will address those questions in the comments and uh, possibly in my next video, depending on the kinds of questions I get. So, uh, yeah, I don't want to go too, I don't want to go too dark with the shading because I don't want to like blur out or, or lose some of the lines that I've done. But this is the part of the drawing where we start adding, uh, making, making it come to life by adding different shades, different tones of darkness. You know, like on the side of her nose over here, you could see that it's, it's got some shadow. So I'm going to start adding this little shadow. 
I mentioned it in my last drawing. I'm sure I'll mention it in every drawing, but just to kind of explain what I'm doing, when you add shadows or you add darkness, the darker you make something, the further back you push it into the picture. So what it does is by adding value or adding darkness, you're bringing the light stuff forward. So this is going to start bringing the nose forward because I'm adding these dark values to the nose. So the nose will hopefully start taking a three-dimensional shape, start to come off the face a little bit. Just from the, just from adding the little, little, little tiny touches. So I'm going to have to start working on the eyes a little bit, which is again, challenging, but fun. I'm not laying down anything crazy at this point. Um, this is where um, I think experience starts coming into play because um, I can't really explain what I'm doing. I'm looking up and I'm kind of just get, trying to get almost in that that trance zone of letting my brain just tell my hand what to do. You know, if it you know, it's telling me right now, we'll just, you know, do, do the eyebrows, just do the eyebrows. I'm going to keep this line right here as a reference to let me know, okay, you're changing the plane of the face. You're going from the forehead across and then down. That's why the eyebrows kind of tick down because they, they change planes. Same with this eyebrow over here. There's a definite change in direction. So when you draw that, it tells your eyes and the eyes of your people who are watching, oh yeah, that eyebrow goes around the side of the head. That's why it changes down direction. It's a little too thick that eyebrow, that little pesky eyebrow. What would we do without erasers, huh? How would this world be different if we didn't have erasers? All right. So, it looks like underneath the eyes is going to be the bag is there's going to be some shade here and there's obviously shade on top of the eyelid so this is where i'm laying down i'm just kind of like laying in value by value i just mean putting some lead on the paper and then i'll start making certain parts darker as they jump out at me but you have to understand, like, okay, your eyes are sunken in your head, right? I mean, you could feel it. They, they, they're sunk in your head. So because they go back, there's less light back there. And so that's why this part of the eyes is usually darker. You don't want to make it too dark. Then they look like they were uh, in the octagon fighting uh, MMA. You don't want them to look like they've been in a fight, but I am lightly adding value here. Not necessarily because I see it at this point. I don't really see a whole lot, but I just know this part of the eyes, it's inside the skull. So let's just add that here and then we can refine it and darken things as we go.
So, you know, right here, this part's darker because it's the furthest part of the face back there. All right. Okay. I like it. All right. I'm trying to just stick with this pencil just for shading. I, I, my brain is telling me to like start adding details and stuff, but um, I really want to just stick with the shading if at all possible. So what I'm going to do, let me just keep laying this down. You'll notice under the mouth, under the lip, but a, between the lip and the chin, there's usually uh, where the face goes back. The chin comes out, and so there's a shadow right here. Try not to draw lines. I'm just trying to add some shading. Nothing too crazy. Some of this looks dark, but I'm probably going to knock it back down. Um, I'm just want to. I just want to do what my brain is telling me at this point. Just seeing shadows, drawing them in. And this side of the face is going to be, I'm going to lay that more in shadow just because it looks like the light is coming from this side of the face over here. So. Now, when I'm looking at her, if you notice right in this section here, between the eyes, uh, if you look at the picture, and I don't know if you can pick it up because it's a small thumbnail, but there's like a white area. You know, like she, where the brow is, it kind of like, try not to draw it dark. But right in here, Below here, it's kind of white. And up here, it's darker. So to make that stand out, I'm just going to add some shade. So this is what I mean by the fun part, because this isn't scientific here. This is just me just adding some, some shading. And uh, yeah, I'm just uh, just going with it, people. <laughs> We're just going with it. Oh, all right. Trying to. Trying to visualize as best as I can. Normally, I, um, I'm doing things a little bit different. I think every picture I do is a little bit different than the last as far as my approach, my technique. Sometimes I think, oh, yeah, I got this drawing thing down. I know what I'm doing. And then I do my next picture and it's like, wait a minute, I'm doing it completely different than what I did before. So I'm not sure. It looks like there's probably different light sources. I think she's in a, yeah, she's in a car. So there's light hitting this way 
it looks like there's light maybe even coming this way. So I can't just, I have to kind of be mindful of that. I can't just uh, assume light's only coming in one spot. Um, her nose seems to be shaded a little bit. There's almost like this, where the freckles come, there's almost like this triangle kind of shape to it. Definitely looks white, almost up like you get between the eyes. And then it's white up in here. So, I'm not digging it right now as far as all the shading is concerned. But the more you do it, the more you lay it down, the more like I start seeing different things. So I think what I'm going to probably do here shortly is uh, maybe I'll start rubbing in this uh, shading we've done so far. Just to give it some value, some smooth it out a little bit. So I'm going to take some tissue, start to rub it in, and you're going to see it all kind of blend. So that'll kind of give an overall tone to the face. One of these days, maybe I'll get like a paintbrush or something and just brush this part instead of using some tissue in my finger. But this is a cheap alternative. You just uh, next time you uh, next time you go to the bathroom, just don't wipe one extra wipe and then save this part. And that's it. Conservation 101. All right, so I don't need the chin line. Okay, so now I'm going to start maybe working a little bit more on the eyes. I gotta be sure I don't block this for you guys. Um, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. I wanna lean in to look at it, but uh, I don't wanna block you at the same time. So, Trying to find the best best spot for my reference so I could see it clearly. All right, that'll work. Now it's much closer.
And if I get real quiet here, that's just because I'm not very good at what I'm doing. And so I have to, I gotta concentrate. Usually the, this part of the eye is uh, darker. Not only because it's, you got the eyelashes, but it's also creating a shadow on the old eyeball. This is tough. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm so quiet, guys. That's just kind of how I roll when it comes to this. You don't know if you're doing it right i'm not sure if that i i'm not sure if this eye is shaped correctly it might be oh well we'll just we'll just stick with it right now tough because it like goes in the back you know like it it's a sphere so I have to try and like create the illusion that the eye is three-dimensional and I honestly don't know how to do that I'm just kind of just going with it just kind of drawing what I'm seeing I want to make the eye too dark. And I, I want to try and create that highlight that's in the eye. So I'm kind of leaving this little like circle in there. It might be a little too low. I think I'm almost sure it's too low, but let's just uh, let's just stay there with it. So this is my first drawing in exactly one week. So one week ago today, I did my last drawing. Back in my heyday of complete artistic inspiration, I was drawing every single day, two hours a day, every day. But... Um, And I, and I might get I might get there again. I think it just all depends on how I feel and what's going on. This is also like the busy time for my job. So uh, I'm gonna have to devote more time to my 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 job. Since we are basically approaching the holiday season, and my job uh, relies on retail sales. Okay, let me let me move on to this, this other eye over here. Show this eye some love. The love shack is a little known place where we can get together. I bet you guys, uh, you might be surprised to uh, know that I've never had a single singing lesson. 
much like my artwork, I am a natural. And that was dripping in sarcasm in case you didn't pick that up. Okay. So I think that eye is starting to take shape. What do you guys think? All right. And for you hardcore fans out there that have stuck with me so far in what is probably almost an hour and a half of video, sometime later on in this video, if I remember, we will have a secret code word. And only you, faithful few that have been watching this entire time, will know the code word. And you can leave me that code word in the comments. And I will know if you say the code word that you were one of the few that watched this entire video. That means you're hardcore. All right. The eyes are very, uh, This part is very, um, I don't want to say time consuming, but it kind of is like getting like the lower lid for me is kind of hard because it's so subtle, but if you figure that the, the, the uh, focal point of most portrait drawings is going to be the eyes. It's really good to devote time to it. Oh, my dog's barking over something. So underneath the nose, there's a shadow. So I'm just gonna slowly hint at that. You got to be careful with girls and noses because uh, one false move, one little flick of the pencil and you will jack their face up. Guys are much more forgiving as far as like the facial features are concerned. Girls, you don't want to make their nose too big. You will piss them off. All right. So maybe at this stage, I might start um, insinuating or hinting at the freckles. I don't know how much I'm going to get on there. But usually when you start doing freckles and then you take the tissue and you rub it down, it'll it'll blend it in. Makes it a little more subtle. I kind of like this curve of her eyebrow right here. It really gives the impression of the the planes of the face, you know what I mean? And now this is going to be a little darker because it's away from you. I mean, if you just think of a circle, if you just drew a circle, a big white circle, there's no definition to it, right? But so if there were no shading on this face, it would be completely flat, right? It'd be completely flat. You would just have eyes a nose, a mouth, but it would be all one dimensional. So that's what shading is, why shading is so cool is when you start shading, you start bringing out the different dimensions of the face. And the trick is to learn where to apply it. 
So like I said, I've, I've said it before, like I try and look, squint, look at the picture, see where is the shading, but also see where there's no shading. Sometimes to find the shading, look for the white spots. So it's actually kind of white. You know, it's kind of white around this part of her face. It's kind of white right there, and it kind of raises up in here. And a little above the uh, eyebrows, it's also white. Or so that's catching the light. Let me zoom out a little bit. All right. All righty. Getting somewhere. I think I'm going to keep working a little bit on the face before I move on to the hair. I think maybe, uh, is this coming out a little too far? Does it look like she's, uh, is her cheek too big? I don't know. Tough to say. Okay. So, I'm just going to kind of hint at freckles. So I'm just drawing little circles, not too dark. I don't want to take away from anything. Sometimes when it comes to freckles or it comes to beauty marks, I don't. It's just, I just leave it up to my own discretion if I want to add it in or not. As you can see, I'm jumping all over the place. So what other, uh, maybe you guys can uh, give me some ideas of like some things you want me to share with you on my next drawing. I have two kids. One's going to be 13 this year. I don't know where the time flies, but you know, it seems like when you're a kid and you're, you know, growing up, time doesn't, time doesn't really move as fast. Once you have kids, man, time just flies. And I don't know, I have kind of a theory. I think it's basically, you know, you're living, you know, basically all your memories now become your kids' memories. You know, all the things that you were holding on to that, that were important to you are no longer that important because now it's all about your kids. I remember... I had such a great memory and remembering things in my childhood and, you know, things that happened in elementary school. And I mean, I would remember those things, you know, until my, I mean, for a long time. I mean, you just don't forget kind of certain things. And, but once I had kids, it was like, man. I barely can remember a lot of things that happened in my childhood because now it's like my brain is clearing space for new memories, you know, the memories that I have now with my kids. Because to me, those are now what's important. It doesn't matter what happened to me. 
because that's all in the past. Now it's all about trying to remember <clears throat> and hold on to the memories you have with your kids because that is what is going to take you on in life. You know, when you're laying there on your, for those of you who have kids, this obviously doesn't apply if you don't have kids, but you know, it's like when I'm laying on my deathbed, when it's time to meet the great artist in the sky, you know, I'm not, most of my memories are going to hopefully be about my kids, about my family. Not so much about, you know, what kid hit me in the face during recess with a dodgeball. But, you know, like what happened when <clears throat> my kids were born and that kind of stuff, you know? So, and that's another cool thing that I like about drawing is, you know, when I am long gone, you know, these drawings are still going to be here. So, you know, unless North Korea nukes us or something. Um, I'm hoping these drawings are something that like, you know, my, my kids will have, you know, maybe they'll find this, find this book and go, wow, this was dad's drawing and they'll frame it, you know? I mean, that's what I, at least I hope. I don't want them to be like, oh God, my dad drew this. Hate that guy. <laughs> no, they would never see that. So, um, so I'm liking the way this is looking. Some drawings you feel better, feel better about than others. And uh, as it stands right now, I'm not, I'm not hating this drawing, which is a good thing. I mentioned before when I started this video that I have not been drawing my whole life. <clears throat> so if I can do this, you can do this. And if you're going, yeah, but you're way better than me, or I have no idea, I, there's no, I, I can't even draw even close to that. Well, it just takes, I mean, you hate to say it, but practice. I mean, that's what I'm doing right here. This to me is practice. <clears throat> this is me knowing that I have to do this if I want to get better. And it's even more nerve wracking because I'm doing it on camera. That means that I'm wasting all, think of all this time I'm wasting, not wasting, but think of all this time I'm filming this on two different cameras. And I don't even know if it's, you know, like when I start this out, I don't even know if it's going to be something that I like. I've already filmed one of these before where I took two to three hours filming it, didn't like the picture, deleted the entire thing. I was talking on it, I was giving advice, I was telling stories, all gone, all gone, because I just didn't like the way it turned out. So that's a little nerve wracking for me. But that being said, that's also what makes this challenging. That's also what kind of is kind of making me step up my game a little bit because knowing I'm being watched, knowing I'm investing time in this, knowing that it could possibly help somebody else like that, that's making me um, want to do it. That's making me really analyze my technique and it's making me uh, think about what I'm doing more, 
making me explain it. So not only am I explaining it for you, I'm explaining it for me. It's like uh, helping me out. And there's people out there. I mean, like I said, I'm one of them. I watch this kind of stuff in my free time. For those of you who subscribe to me that know me from my uh, pipe smoking videos, you know, um, I used to, you know, when I first started to pipe smoke and, and use that as a form of, you know, like a hobby for relaxation, and I would watch all kinds of pipe smoking videos, all kinds, all my free time was just spent watching pipe smoking videos. Well, I don't have to do that anymore because I know how to smoke a pipe now. I don't have to watch how to smoke a pipe. I don't have to watch everything that has to do with pipe smoking. But likewise with drawing, you know, when you want to draw, you want to learn how to draw, you're going to start watching these kinds of videos. And that's what I do. I watch other people drawing because I want to get better. I want to learn. And maybe you're watching this right now because you're the same way. You want to learn. And maybe this video is teaching you something. You know, I see a lot of very talented artists out there. And, and uh, many of them are like me. Like I mentioned, Bradwin, Bradwin Jones. He's one of my favorites that I uh, enjoy watching. They're giving away all kinds of knowledge for free. And then there's other guys out there that, they give you little tidbits and then they go, well, if you want to see more here, go to my website. And then you go to their website and then they want to charge you some course, some fee. And, uh, you know, I'm not saying that's anything wrong with that. Everyone's got to make a living. But uh, if I can do this for free, I mean, I'll, I'd rather charge for these pictures. You know, if someone wants me to draw them and they say, hey, Jeff, I'll. I'll pay you if you, you know, draw a picture for me. That's one thing, you know, and you're being paid for your time. But see, if I'm going to be drawing this anyway, I might as well be filming it and maybe helping somebody, you know. Help someone like me who came to this video wanting to learn or wanting to just see how it's done, you know. To me, that's what's fascinating. The most fascinating thing about drawing for me, or any art, painting, or it's the creation of something from nothing. When we started this video, this was a this was a white piece of paper. When we started this video, it was nothing but a white piece of paper. And now with just lines and eyeballing measurements, it's got a face on it. I think that's fascinating. And the fact that other people do the same thing, you can do the same thing. Like, that's just neat to me. <laughs> So, I got to add some more to the chin. I haven't even really started the neck yet either, I just realized. All right, so, so far, we've only used two pencils. Now, you can use one pencil. You don't have to be like, man, I wish I could draw like that, but all I got is one pencil. You can do this all in one pencil. I just use different ones if I want to get, if it just, just makes it a little easier for me. There's, there's different kinds of pencils. And if I remember in my description of this video, if you want to link to where these pencils are. You can get them on Amazon with free shipping. Um, 
for like six bucks and it comes with like four pencils and eraser or a, a sharpener um they're not magic pencils or anything but if you're like me and you don't uh <laughs> you don't go out that much sometimes just hopping on over to clicking the link going to amazon buying buying it there having it shipped to you it's just one less thing you have to worry about okay I don't want it too dark by the nose. So, yeah, I don't know how her, uh, I don't know if I really nailed uh, the nose. But uh, that's all right. As I mentioned before, it's, it's all about how you feel with your skill set and are you happy with it? And so far, knock on wood, I'm pretty happy with it. All right, so I'm just using the tissue to kind of rub it in, smooth out the lines a little bit. We are going to go back over a lot of this stuff, make it darker, but uh, for now, this is... This is going the way I want it to go. So what else can I share with you guys? I listen to all kinds of music. That's my one regret that I can't be listening to music right now. There's just no way that I could do music at the same time and talk and then not have YouTube block my music selection. Tell me I'm violating some sort of copyright. All right, I'm just uh, laying down some of the dark parts of the lips a little bit. I think I'll Hang off, hang off on that for a minute. And uh, hey, we should start doing the chin a little bit or the uh, down in here. So, because I didn't do that before. So I'm just going to lay down some shading, just initial one directional shading. And I'm going one direction just because I'm going to rub it in smooth it out so you won't really see these lines but the one direction helps me it tells my brain okay this is all the skin this isn't the hair which is going sort of up and down this is this is the skin can't forget the little shoulder over there all right, take my tissue. Kind of blend it in. All right, so. All right, so it looks like this side of her neck is gonna be a little more in shadow. So I'm going to start with that side and start adding shadow. Now, see, I got to make this darker than the face. 
So I got to make this darker than here to make this come forward. So let me just do this. I'm kind of doing little light little circles. Doesn't feel like much, but again, like if you watch if you watch this in time lapse, you'll really start to see like how it all comes together. And the hardest part, or one of the hardest parts, is just being patient. Don't try and do too much. Just draw what you see. You see a little mark here. It looks dark. It kind of goes up. Okay. I see you, dark mark. <laughs> That'd be a good rapper name. Dark mark. All right. I'm going to start putting some more attention to the little spaghetti strap thing here. All right, and out of those straps, this one side's darker. So I'm just gonna shade that in. And then there's a really dark spot in here for the shadow because it's off the skin a little bit. Likewise, up in here, gets darker. So all these little like lines of the squiggly lines and shading like that's really just to focus on the definition of your skin so it's you know where there's muscle and stuff like like it's a little darker right here because this is off the skin and that the, the clavicle goes in a little bit you know up here it's probably gonna be a little darker it's kind of messy I didn't really uh again this is the part of the drawing where it's like it's not really your focus you don't want people to go damn that's a nice looking strap at least I don't care it's not my intention to have people go you know draw their attention to this part but at the same time as they say the devil's in the details so sometimes I like to push these little little details further so that way uh it just kind of stands out a little more all right i'll leave that for there for right now and again i'll probably knock this all down again with uh, tissue sometimes it's good to go a little dark darker than than you should because you know you're just gonna knock it down. All right. How's that looking? All right, so this is part of the neck over here. So I'm just gonna shade this part. And I want to make it different than the hair, so I'm going to kind of re-go over 
the hair just to set that set that apart. See, and again, it's little things that are going to make a difference. So all this little shading, it's easy for me to just not put a lot of attention into it, but I think it's going to, as we say in the stock market, it's going to pay dividends. I think that's what they say. I don't know if I'm going to go much further down, so. I'm going down in a blaze of glory. Okay. Make sure I'm back in there. Need to find the hair over here a little bit. This is where it gets to that point where it's like uh, you can't see what's in the drawing. So you're just kind of, you're just kind of drawing in something that, that looks good, hopefully. <laughs> You know, I kind of just stopped up in here. Up in here, up in here. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. All right, so. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm not really good with girls' hair styles. So I'm just kind of making stuff up. <laughs> I'm gonna say that'll be okay. I think that'll be all right. Okay. So we're going to start slowly. Slowly. I'm going to start adding more um, darks and, and stuff in it to make it really start popping. Or that's my intention, at least. Um, but maybe we should do the hair first. They will do the hair, and then we will see how that stands out against the other stuff. So, for the hair, let me go. Let me just start laying in. some of the darks and just kind of looking over the hair lay some of the darker stuff down and then uh, you'll see you'll see what we do the hair is for me is always in a um, it's a bunch of different layers to add volume add volume so not drawing every single strand I just want to indicate like this hair goes this way and then we have hair over here that's going straight down and then we have some hair over here that goes off to the side and some over here that kind of goes off a little bit. You'll see me keep glancing back at the uh, camera just so I can see what it looks like. Sometimes it's good to have a different a, a, to see your drawing in a different angle or a different viewpoint. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna draw the sunglasses. It's just it doesn't really doesn't really bring anything to the drawing. And uh, not to mention it's just one more thing that I can probably mess up on. And this is enough of a challenge for me as it stands, so 
Why add more? All right. This is all dark hair. You can see it's just real dark underneath here. And it kind of just fans out from here, looks like. To find that shoulder again, because we want the hair to be going behind it. All right. So now maybe if I just add some overall tone to it. And then we're going to rub it in. Rub it in, rub it in. I am just full of uh, slogans and everything else. I bet you had no idea I was this talented. You came to watch a drawing video and instead you got a musical history lesson. All right. And you can see if you're doing this on your own, you can maybe see like when I say it can be like getting in a trance and getting in the zone, you could see why. Like this is the part where you just like, you just get in the zone, auto zone. You get in the zone, you uh, lose track of time and space. So this is the fun part. This is the part where it doesn't have to be perfect. You've already put in the hard work of trying to get the face down. So this is the part, that's what I'm saying. That's why I put so much time into uh, initially with the making sure, you know, the eyes look fine and make sure the nose is correct and all that stuff, because that is where you want to get your stuff correct. And then once you, once you got it down, when you get to this stage, then it's like, all right, now we can, now we can have some fun. Now we don't have to think so much. It's not, it's not such a taxing operation on our brain. All right, so we rub that in. And now we start building on that. Start building. All right. So I'm going to go over with a darker pencil pretty soon. But this is where I ask myself in my head, like, all right, the hair is obviously darker than the face. You know, right here, it's it's almost the same. So it's like, I got to make it, you got to make it darker, but we got to follow the direction of the hair. You know, you have to like picture, how is her hair on her head? Okay, well, it's being pulled this way. So, okay, we're going to do that. Kind of thrown off a little bit because, like I said, the glasses are normally right there and we're not going to draw those in. So I have to ask myself, is this, does this look okay? Am I leaving anything out because your glasses aren't there? Is it going to, you know, is her head going to have this weird shape to it? But I'm thinking it's okay. This is where I'm getting messy because I don't, honestly, I don't care that much about this part. 
this is just this is like you know where you see those huh you know <laughs> i don't know what that is but that you know like when you see uh people just you know looking at something and just okay a little bit here a little bit there that's like kind of what i'm doing here i'm just i don't need people uh psychoanalyzing the hair or looking too much at this part so this is sort of a time consuming part i guess you would say all right this side of the hair a little dark over here and i got i got a couple more darker pencils so usually i save like the darkest of darks for last No, I always make a mistake of like going over the eyes, making them darker, and then it's like crap. I should have left the eyes alone. I mean, she's got like hazel, well, yeah, probably like very light brown or hazel eyes. So I don't want to leave them too light because then they'll look uh, green, but I don't want to make them too dark because then they'll look like uh, the Antichrist. You don't want a pretty girl. That's one way to shatter your confidence is try and draw a pretty girl and she ends up looking like the Antichrist. That is a litmus test for how well you draw. You're trying to draw someone pretty and they look like they can crawl from one of the seven pits of hell you probably failed. Okay. We need to darken the hair up here. Are we still on camera? Okay. So again, I'm looking at the direction of the hair. And I also want to focus on like where the hairline is. Like it's, it's kind of like a line right here. You don't want a line. So I want to kind of like go where that line is and flick up. Hopefully make it look more hair-like. I'm kind of doing these arches to signify the hair like rolling over you know give it some form somewhere in here is where it kind of starts going different direction in case it you wondering what a paper I'm using. I'm just using regular sketch paper. It's a sketchbook. Um, so it's, it's nothing special. It's the only thing I've ever drawn on. So I would be curious and I, one of these days, I'm sure I will buy some uh, different type of paper, maybe newsprint or something to experiment on. I've also never uh, drawn with anything other than just regular pencils, graphite pencils. Some people use charcoal. Charcoal gives you really nice dark colors. Just, I've never, dark colors, just dark values. Um, but I've never, uh, never tried it. I've just, I like the idea of just, hey, you got a pencil, cool, pick up a pencil. Oh, is that some blank piece of paper? Pick up the paper, boom, drawing utensils initiated. I like that. I like it a lot. Okay, so 
I'm trying not to lose the ear. So that's why I'm kind of going over the ear a little bit here. But I don't want all attention to be on it either. So just uh, doing a little, little ear touch up. All right. I'm liking how it's looking, people. That's really all that matters, you know, when it comes to drawing. Do you like it? You know, like I'm sure there's going to be people out there that troll this video and go, You messed up on the eyes, man. That one eye is a little bit different. And I'm going to go, Thank you. I appreciate that. I'll try and do better next time. But I don't get, uh, I don't get upset people that want to be critics, you know, to each their own. That's what I say. Kind of feel like the ear could be a little bit better. It's hard for me to um, do the ear though when it's in the hair like this. So uh, I'm just trying to trying to give it a solid effort as best as I can. Okay. Knock it down a little bit. All right. So I'm going to kind of go over some of my shading again. Remember the eyes are a little bit in. So put some shading around the eyes. Um, believe it or not, we're actually almost done. How much time I got? I got, uh, okay. My, my battery life on my, uh, on my card here, my memory card has 30 minutes. So this will be done in 30 minutes. So the time of me filming this, I don't know when I'm going to upload it, but it's a Friday. So yay for Fridays. Super excited for that. I don't really, uh, I don't really go out or anything too much. So it's not like I'm going to go out and do anything, but just knowing it's Friday and that everybody loves Fridays, that makes me happy. That brings a little joy to my heart. Okay. So far, so good. I think we got the smirk. I think we captured that. And uh, I need to put a little more shadow on the chin. Something like that, maybe. Maybe. All right. The eyes, the eyes have it. Let me shade a little bit in here. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, I'm going crazy. Going crazy. Okay, so let me start adding a little bit more work on the eyes. Okay. A little bit more work on the eyes. Trying to get the uh, the darkness of the uh, eyelashes. I'm just trying to find like the right pencil to really get that in there. This is a 4B pencil right here. B stands for black. So when you want a softer pencil that puts more lead on the paper, you go with a B for black. If you want a lighter touch, you go with an H pencil, which is hard. So the harder the pencil, the less lead or graphite um, gets put on the put down. So this is a constant, this part's a constant uh, battle for me. You don't want to go too dark. You don't want to go too light. Might have gone a little too dark. Okay, and then below her eye, this is this is a tricky part. Like right below the eye, it's like the bottom eyelashes. And so I'm trying to be super subtle, super subtle with it. I'm just trying to do like a little light line to represent the eyelid and the eyelashes. Did I mention super subtle? Maybe like that. I mean, if you can almost barely see it on the camera, but. It's enough to. It's enough to sort of differentiate between the eye. And the eyelid like it's a little there's a little fold there. Just like on this side right here, there's. Very subtle. very subtle bottom eyelash. Okay. I want to overdo the eyelashes. But uh, I definitely like putting them in there and drawing attention to them. The eyelashes are the cleavage of the eyes, as my grandma used to tell me. All right. So yeah, the mistake I've made before, and I don't, I, I'm trying my hardest not to, and I think I'm not going to, is I would then like, like part of me wants to like start coloring in this more, but I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to overdo it. So I think I'm not going to overdo it. I think I'm just going to leave it. 
and uh, I need to sharpen my pencil real quick. Okay. We are getting somewhere. All right. One of my three alarms is telling me to be mindful of the time. Okay. Where was I? Okay. Okay, Jeff. Kind of had lost the eyelid in the eyelashes, so I just realized I had to kind of reestablish it. There you are, eyelid. Good to see you again, old friend. All right. What was I doing? What was I doing? Okay. Thinking maybe touch up the mouth just a little bit. I don't want to draw like a continuous line. So I'm just highlighting little, little tiny spots. And then uh, that should be good for that. Go back over the top lip again. Top lip needs to be a little darker, it looks like, than the bottom lip. And uh, the bottom lip, I try and look to see where are the highlights, where is the dark part. So looks like it kind of looks like there's a highlight over on this side where it's not that dark, but then it comes down comes down right in here. And then there's just little bits throughout the lip. And that's a little bit darker. And the bottom of the lip, where it kind of curves away from the light, Oh, I dropped my pencil. Let's see if I can get it with my toe. Oh, nope. That's a power cord. Oh, 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 look at that. And all you thought I can do was draw. You had no idea I could pick up pencils with my toes. Okay. Let me start adding or taking away some things. So I gotta make sure I don't block anything. Right here. It's a little highlight. A little highlight. Light hits here. A little bit hits here. Um, okay, hold on. Hold on one second. Give me a Nimrod. Knock this down a little bit.
Okay. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? That is the question. Okay. I want to like make sure the hair looks like it's coming over the ears. So that's why I'm kind of just adding that little stroke in there. Sorry, I might be zoomed in a little too far, guys. That's a little better. Okay. All right, just trying to darken up a little bit where the lips meet. Not, not trying to draw a line, just trying to give it a little shade, shade of darkness. So we have the corner of the mouth there, and we got this like this shadow part here. I don't want to go too hard on it, but it definitely like this is definitely a little all in shadow here. but it leaves these like little highlights right around the side. And it almost has, it almost has like a, a sharp line right in here. Almost, I don't, I really don't, I'm not trying to draw this line in, but I'm trying to like define it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh. Okay. Love Let's you. don't forget your children. What time is that? How much time I got? Um, oh yeah, I'll be done. Okay. Send me a text to remind me. My wife's going off to work. And when the wife works, you know what that means. Freedom. Just kidding. Just kidding. Hopefully she didn't hear me. I don't want to get in trouble. Oh, fudge. See, now I'm not concentrating. Yeah, I gotta pick up my kids from school. My youngest daughter's still in the cast from when she snapped her ankle, so I gotta get there early enough to where she can load her scooter into the car. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to finish this drawing, but I don't, you know, I don't want to go too fast because I'm, I'm, I'm liking the way it looks, but uh, I also don't want to take my sweet time on it anymore. All right, so maybe that's a sign that I should start adding a little more darkness to the hair.
All right, so this is kind of dark. This is kind of dark. This is kind of dark over here. All right. See, I'm kind of, I feel like I'm kind of Russian. Well, I'm not Russian, I'm Italian, but I feel like I'm Russian. I feel like I'm rushing a little bit. But maybe that's a good thing. Maybe my brain is going to be going to some weird unconscious Zen mode where I'm just going to knock this one out of here. Get out of here. Drawing. I got you. All right. What are we thinking here? You thinking it's looking all right? Hmm. So I'm kind of just adding a little bit of shade to the corners of the mouth because that's where it kind of goes in. I don't want to lose the little part of the mouth, but I don't want it to be that pronounced either. So maybe I'll knock it down a little bit. Sometimes it's just implied, you know, you don't got to draw like this big line too dark. The nostrils, I'm just trying to hint at the very, very back part, just like that. A little bit more on the eyes. And uh, what am I using here? This I think is a, well, it's a 4H pencil. Because it's a harder pencil, I use it to try and get like the little details because it's a finer, finer precision, finer control. So I'm gonna just kind of light, lightly shade like this part of her face. Again, because I think most of the light is coming from the other side. So I want to kind of just hint at that. Some of the lights coming from this side as well, so. And uh, let's see. This is, we're starting to get down to the nitty gritty. For those that you, for those of you who like the nitty gritty, this is that part, the nitty and the gritty, where the tire meets the road. Ah. All right, so again, I'm kind of Focusing on the eyes. If I can make the eyes look realistic or uh, have the capture sort of the personality, then that helps make up um, any 
shortcomings or any 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 part that might have like that you might not have nailed will actually not look as bad if you can really hammer in the eyes a little bit. So the lips, I'm just trying to focus last minute little details like where the shading is. You know, her chin. There is a little, I think it is a little darker down here. And I realize now that I'm looking at it, it's too late. I, you know, I can't do anything now, but that's okay. But her chin is too big. I think her mouth is too small. Her chin is too long. But at this stage and my schedule and what I have to, what I have to do here, uh, I'm not going to change it. I'm happy with how this looks. Um, I think I maybe did an okay job capturing her expression, even if it doesn't look exactly like her. Um, You know, if I look back and forth at it, side to side, I can see like, oh yeah, I can tell that's her, even though it's not. But I think her chin could have been a little, um, I don't know, like maybe I, I could have made her mouth a little bit um, smilier or something or wider. Like I think I could have made her mouth come over here a little bit more and that would have changed the overall layout i guess all right so She has a little, right near her cheek, there's like a line, there's like a little spot here. Looks like I'm getting it. See, now in person, this is very light, but when I look at it on the camera, I can totally see it. So that's why it's, it sort of helps to kind of look back. Because that's there on the camera, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, that shadow's there, this shadow's here. Oh, okay, I got one more alarm. I got one more alarm. So at this point, I'm kind of looking at highlights, you know, what do I have to Add, take away. Um, let me get my darker, my darkest pencil and start adding a little bit of the darker tones of the hair. Add that in there. This is like the, this is one of my favorite parts too. The dark highlights. You don't want to overdo it. You just find some of the, the darkest spots that you can like pick on.
All right. Almost, almost there. We're almost, we're in the home stretch. This is what we call the home stretch. So I'm going to bring out a few, uh, hopefully bring out a few highlights in the hair. So I'm going to take my uh, kneaded eraser. They call it a kneaded eraser because every artist needs it. It's a kneaded eraser. Okay, and I'm just going to bring out a little highlights if you overdo it just kind of add some pencil back in you know so i'm trying to think where the light's going to hit you know light kind of hits over here maybe a little bit up top You know, so sometimes I'll do that and then I'll kind of knock it back down a little bit. And I might take out a little bit. It's kind of just knocking that ear back down. Knocking that ear back. All right. So that's in there. Do we want to do anything to this part of the hair? I don't know. I don't even know how her hair would fall right here. So this is where I use the old imagination, which I don't have. I'm not, believe it or not, highly imaginative. That's why, you know, a lot of a lot of artists are very right brained, very imaginative. I'm very left brained. I I I see it as a almost like as an exercise, you know, a, a logical thing. Take this angle and that angle and you, you draw it this way and it's very but it's also very creative. So it's like I'm satisfying both the left and the right brain. So now I'm just kind of seeing any last minute shadow shapes. I don't want that too dark. All right. thinking this is going to be just about over which is good because i got a killer cramp right now oh all right this is going to be highlight on her shoulder Little highlight on the neck. All right, sorry about that. I was uh, in just mid drawing, and my camera battery uh, or the, my my memory card went uh, 
completely, completely full. That was the most awkward way to say that. My memory card ran out of space, so. Um, okay, it's like three hours right now in this video, which is uh, a little longer than I want it to be. So I'm just going to be finishing this up here. Um, just going to do a couple little things. I just want to do some last minute shading here and uh, pull out a few little highlights. Kind of kind of accent the, the cheek a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not there's not much more I can do. I was looking at it when the camera was off and um, I could see kind of where I missed it um, as far as accuracy. So the uh, picture her face looks a little long, a little longer, a little more elongated than what I made it. So I kind of missed the mark there. And um, I didn't really, I didn't really capture that too well. But that being said, I think proportionally it, it could have been a lot worse, so I'm pretty happy with uh, overall how it turned out. Like I said, it could have been a lot worse, so for me and my skill set and where I'm at and my uh, drawing path, my journey, if you will, this is, uh, this is pretty good for me. So hopefully you feel it's a decent drawing. I mean, I would hate to have you guys watch me this entire time only to find out that uh, you didn't like my artwork. <laughs> so thank you all for sticking with me this, this whole time. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm going to call it. I could sit here for another 30 minutes. And work on like the hair here just trying to add more uh, volume and stuff and and i might maybe maybe i might do a little bit but i think for the purpose of this video and what you guys are here for and what you might be watching and getting out of this i think this is uh this is about this is about where the line stops so I think that looks uh, fairly decent, wouldn't you say? Not bad for someone that's never gone to art school and doesn't draw regularly and doesn't have a job that does anything related to art. This is just my little hobby and I'm uh, pretty pleased with this one. We'll see if I feel the same in, in a day or two when I look at it and go, oh man, what did I, what did I stop there for? I could have done this and this and that. But like I said, I, I think as far as this drawing is concerned, this is about the limit. I've reached my limit. All right, so that's probably going to be probably going to be it right here. If I don't leave well enough alone, I'm going to screw it up. All right, let's just leave it at that. I'll keep on, I'll keep on going and not know when to stop. So uh, let me check the date. Today's September 15th. 
So I am going to sign my name down here somewhere. Jeff Mash 9 15 17. Alright guys, as always, thank you for watching and um, check out some of my other drawing videos that I have up on the screen. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment, let me know. This is a long video and I want to know I'm not wasting your guys' time, wasting uh, anybody's time with all this stuff. But I figure I'm going to be drawing this anyway, I might as well uh, film it and have maybe possibly a teaching moment for those that want to follow along with me or just listen to me talk. or hang out. So that's it. Till next time, we'll talk to you later.